Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Sawadee Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza, let's catch you up with all the news. It's two years in jail for the four men who viciously attacked a British family in the video scene around the world which took place in Hua Hin back in April during Songkran. A Hua Hin provincial court gave the men a four-year sentence which was reduced after the four men confessed to beating and kicking the British family, including a 65-year-old woman and a 68-year-old man. The perpetrators told police that they were drunk when the assault took place. And safety inspectors will check every hotel on Kochang following the collapse of a building at Siam Beach Resort which claimed the life of one Thai tourist. Six people were trapped in the rubble when the hotel's roof collapsed following a heavy downpour on Saturday on the tourist island. All six were later rescued with no serious injuries but now investigators We'll see if the owner of the hotel was negligent. And things keep getting worse at the Tiger Temple as the infamous tourist attraction could get the wrecking ball after authorities learned that the temple was illegally expanding over the years, encroaching on protected forest land. The temple was years ago granted just 391 rye of land to build on, but it now covers 1,419 rye, well beyond what it was allowed. Just last week, authorities discovered dozens of dead baby tiger carcasses and some in jars labeled as energy drinks, while three monks were charged with trying to smuggle out tiger skins and amulets. Wildlife officials are in the midst of transferring all 149 tigers to breeding centers and sanctuaries in Ratchaburi. And stay with us, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. The newest resort on Nyang Beach, Phuket Marriott Resort and Spa, Nyang Beach, is ready to host you brilliantly, open now. The art of hosting, where modern architecture meets authenticity of Thai hospitality. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. It looks like things are finally going to be moving along in the drama surrounding embattled monk Pra Damajayo. The Department of Investigation says they promised to grant the revered abbot bail if he acknowledges the charges against him, which includes money laundering and receiving stolen goods of up to 1.2 billion Thai baht. The 72-year-old monk has skipped several hearings with the DSI citing health problems. And finally, thousands of runners hit the pavement at the Laguna Phuket International Marathon this past weekend, the 11th year of one of the island's biggest events. Congratulations go out to Japanese runner Koji Nijizawa who finished the full marathon first in just 2 hours and 37 minutes, a full 10 minutes faster than second place Neil Pearson and 18 minutes faster than last year's winner. Meanwhile, Filipina Landy Cardona was the first female full marathon finisher at 3 hours and 23 minutes. In the half marathon, Richard Solano of the Philippines came in first, clocking in at 1 hour and 15 minutes, while Singaporean Vivian Tan was the first woman to finish at 1 hour and 27 minutes in the half marathon. Great job by everyone who took part in the 11th Laguna Phuket International Marathon. Check out the Phuket News TV's full wrap up of the marathon weekend coming soon. And that's it for all of us here at Phuket Extra. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy Phuket. Hello young lovers of the game in Phuket. FC Porto Dragon Force are visiting you in August. Do you want to develop your game? We will teach you new skills and smart ways to play. Join our camp and learn how to play the FC Porto way. Two times Champions League and 27 times Domestic League winners. Don't miss out, places are limited. See you soon in the land of smiles. Bye for now, Puke.